and welcome back to the channel on this video I want to give a few numbers about e-bike riding and who out there is riding the bikes and as you can see this is a night ride and I tried to look up I couldn't find any numbers on what percentage of riders of e-bike owners actually ride at night or have ridden at night or do it on occasion and I couldn't find any numbers and I mean if I'm guessing I'm pretty sure it'd be less than 50% it might actually be down closer to 30% or 25% because I know there's a good number of folks that just will not ride at night even if they have a good headlight and for me I'm not opposed to night riding it doesn't it, it doesn't bother me um, in some cases I actually like it better like for example when it's 100 degrees outside during the day I'd much rather ride at night when it's maybe 75 or 80 because it's more comfortable. I like the fact that there's not a lot of people around. You know, it's really quiet. Okay, so you kind of feel in a way like you have the, the road or the bike lane to yourself. which you kind of do if you're on side roads uh, in most cases but on the highway you're still going to have traffic but one of the things I try to avoid if I'm night riding if I can is riding on busy highways anything with a lot of cars because let's face it even if you're lit up like a Christmas tree it's still not the same as Ooh, a big pothole there it's still not the same as riding in the day where they can see you better so uh, I think it's better if you're going to be riding in with any amount of traffic at all if you can ride in the day but do your best if you're going to ride at night in with traffic to uh, light yourself up as much as you can like a Christmas tree the more lights you have or reflectors you have the better a couple other uh, numbers to do with e-bikes kind of interesting numbers is let me get past this stop here So one interesting number to me is the uh, average age of an e-bike rider and the average age for an e-bike rider is 48.1 I might have thought that it's a little bit lower than that now because more and more younger people are getting into the e-bike world <clears throat> but I know uh, it is uh, great that we can get all ages out there it doesn't matter how old you are the electric bike sure helps for folks that have a little more trouble pedaling the assistance makes all the difference in the world and uh, it just gives everybody a chance to be out there uh, which is great and so 48.1 for e-bike uh, average age for riders and then for traditional bike
personal bike was 41.4. I'm trying to think, I might be mistaken. It's either 41.4 or 44.1. So it's one or the other, so it's a little lower. Not a lot. But a little bit lower in age, so not a lot of difference. Another statistics I had was the gender. So you would probably guess that the male riders would outnumber the female riders, and you're correct. So for male riders, they say it's about 59%, 41% female. So that sounds pretty good. I mean, that's, if I was just guessing, that's probably higher for the uh, female uh, riders than I might have guessed. But uh, I'm seeing more and more of them all the time. I mean, just the other day, I saw a couple of uh, women. I saw a young woman, she was riding a mock wheel. And that's the first time I had seen a mock wheel up close. And I was talking to her about her bike. She had just bought it online. And she just, I guess, went by what it had to offer. And the price range was right for her. And she went for it. It's a, it's a nice bike. She was telling me that the pedal assist level, she rides it in pedal assist level one all the time. And pedal assist one, she gets 20 miles per hour out of pedal assist level one. I don't know how many levels the bike had for assist, but I think it probably had five. Uh, I mean, it may have had three, but most, most bikes have five or six or seven. So that's pretty good, 20 miles per hour, either that or she's pedaling like crazy to get it up to 20 miles per hour. On the same day I saw the mo uh, mock wheel, I saw a uh, another guy, and this man was probably 80 years old, like an elderly male, and he was, <clears throat> he had just bought his bike. I said, hey, how do you like your bike? And he told me, well, he says, I've had the bike for three weeks, and I put 200 miles on it. That's how much I like my bike. I said, wow, I guess you really like your bike. That's, uh, he had the electric XP 3.0. And uh, really cool. Um, he said he used to ride, for 25 years he rode a traditional bike to and from work. I, he might have told me how far, he, wor how far uh, he rode to work, but he said for 25 years he rode a traditional bike back and forth to work when he was in his working years. And he said that, um, like he put some miles up. I forget what he told me, but he rode like several miles every day. Like it might've been 10 each way. So, I mean, this guy is a biker, both traditional and now electric and uh, pretty, pretty cool. If you've got a, comment on this or any other video on the channel go ahead and leave it in the comments below do you do night riding um, I did a video recently about this but um, do you night ride or are you absolutely against night riding um, you just do it on occasion like I do it more on occasion although I do ride into work every day early morning before sunrise or daybreak and but I'm only going a mile so I'm not going very far
again, that's going to do it for another video here on the channel. If you like this video, hit that like button. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and thank you very much for doing that. And if you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel, just hit that notification bell and you'll be notified. And if you want to leave a comment on this or any other video, go ahead and leave that in the comments below. Once again, thank you for joining me for this video. And until next time.